co-chairperson of the Calvo Tenorio Transition Committee, Dan Tidinko, thanks the more than 150 individuals who volunteered their time to serve on the various subcommittees. With Thursday marking one month on the job for Governor Eddie Calvo and Lieutenant Governor Ray Tenorio, the Transition Committee released their reports on the following subject categories, culture and tourism, education, customer service and government operations, infrastructure and land, safety, Guam buildup and economic development, health care and mental health care, expansion and military buildup, finance, and finally, political status and external affairs. According to Tidingo, the recommendations were submitted to various members of the community, including the legislature unfiltered. And with these reports in hand, Guam's elected leaders can choose to either follow the recommendations or not. In uh, many instances, um, uh, there were very simple, logical um, findings and recommendations and observations that the government of Guam could probably address and attend to. Uh, there was, in some instances, um, there were uh, extreme and uh, bizarre recommendations, um, which the administration and the legislature uh, would have to consider. Um, or consider make, give 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 whatever due consideration they want to, and in some other instances there there were some very novel and innovative suggestions and ideas. And I think it's important that we look at these transition reports, and we take in the information. Clearly, Governor Eddie Calvo has already taken some of the advice contained in the finance report. As recommended, the governor ordered his cabinet to submit cost containment and cost reduction reports to his office within 30 days. Those are currently being reviewed. Another recommendation was exploring the option of rescheduling federally ordered payments. Case in point, the request to delay the payment for the permanent injunction, which was granted by the federal court. Meanwhile, the Calvo administration is estimated to close to $120 million cash shortfall for the current fiscal year. According to the finance report, it is unavoidable that the government must consider a cash infusion into the general fund. Among the several recommendations include preparing for the possibility of borrowing more money if needed and investing in the Department of Revenue and Taxation for enforcement and collection. The transition team also recommended considering a tax on individuals, corporations and others who perform work on Guam related projects who are not incorporated here or who do not have Guam business licenses. Another recommendation to explore an alternative local tax system in place of the gross receipts tax system. The transition team believes serious consideration should be given to a value-added tax. Bottom line, according to the governor. Whatever we do, we do it in such a manner that uh, when we strive to improve the quality, and whether it's the health care uh, or financial position of this, of this community uh, or public safety, that we try to do it with as least disruption as possible. And that's where we have to find the balances, and that's what we intend to do.